Sawitz crockery is known for its simple functional form and unique pleasant ornaments. But there is something else that makes it one of a kind and easily recognizable all over the world. Is it the 400 years of continuously traditional craftsmanship? Or the souls of the artists from centuries ago embedded in the form? Or perhaps it's the passion of those who spend their lives creating the inner world of imagination, love and care through this magical delicate crockery. The crockery seen here is several hundred years old, but today's design is not much different from these old forms. It's the design that the craftsmen in artistic ceramics factory are really proud of. The design bears the marks of the complicated history of the region of Lower Silesia, which over the centuries belonged to the Poles, Czechs, Austrians and the Germans. The design reflects all these nations' love of beautiful and simple forms. The stonework from Bolesławiec has one more mystery. It is the unique ability to change. In the long and laborious process of creation, the soil of the region of Lower Silesia and the hands of local craftsmen is transformed into this rare and precious crockery. And this soil is not very common. It is specially mined in two quarries on either side of the Bubru River. It is rich in aluminium and silicon oxides. Although seemingly there is nothing special to it, thanks to the craftsman's extraordinary skills, it can change into something uniquely beautiful. At first the shapeless mass is fed into merciless machines. It is ground, kneaded and formed. The craftsman's genius is needed in the early stages. Bronisław Wolanin, the artist who's worked for the artistic ceramics factory for over 40 years, uses a simple pencil to design magical shapes, forms and details. He sets the modern trends for the stoneware made in Bolesławiec. He's extremely calm, but his intent face hides vast spaces of imagination. Watching him work is a sheer pleasure. The masters of stoneware art transform these new designs into forms the soft mass is then poured into. Then when the forces of nature have acted, a magical moment comes. The world sees the dish for the very first time. This is the first act of the whole stoneware play. directed by the calcination processes taking place in special furnaces. Act 3. Enter people again. Artistic Ceramics Factory has always chosen only the best craftsmen. To be able to create the unusual forms of Bolesławiec stoneware they need to be talented, extremely patient and imaginative. Teresa Aliana has been using her unique skills for over 20 years, but the stages of the process of creation were determined centuries ago. She needs an idea first. When she's got it, she decides on colors and meticulously cuts out special stamps. Then, dot by dot using the stamps, she applies the paint on the dish. The patterns Teresa uses reflect her interest in nature. The last scene of this act is the most intense, waiting for the effects.
Act 4, baking in the tunnel furnace. And then the truth comes out together with a dish which presents itself to the people waiting. Painting the dishes is a huge task. Yatak Hua knows it quite well. He's been a pattern designer for over 10 years. His ornaments show passion, sense of beauty and aesthetics. This artist is a living proof of the fact that in these artistic processes age doesn't matter. Cristina de Ptua is only 32, but her skills match those of the old masters. She says that at work she's always in a good mood and that helps her a lot. Just look at her serene face and the subtle patterns she's applying with a tiny hand and you'll know it's true. Maria Stajic has always been fascinated by the geometry in nature. Human mind can only reflect the forms created by a mysterious force coming from the outside world, but this reflection can be fabulous. Just have a look yourself. Barbara Makiewa has always lived close to forests, gardens, meadows and fields. It's easy to guess just by looking at her works. They clearly show a mind free from constraints brought by modern civilization. This artist's works are truly unique. It is not only patterns, but carefully chosen colors that make her ornaments one of a kind. Christina Dartitian points out that her creations represent her view of the world. It is hard to disagree. Sofia Supernak's source of inspiration is very touching. Her imagination is stimulated by her adorable grandchildren and her love towards them is reflected in the ornaments she creates. Just imagine what influence her jug, plate or cup will have on the atmosphere in their owner's house. Konorata Kędzierska is very patriotic and her inspiration comes from the centuries of local traditions. At the same time, she feels that the old ornaments need to be enriched by the spirit of modern times. Sometimes the choice of the ornament is decided by the rush of feelings, the heat of the moment, or simply another work of art. Teresa Andrukiewicz is intuitive. Her sensitivity and the view of the world are rather uncommon. Through her art, she shares this beauty with us.
We have shown only a few of the artists, but there are many more of them in the factory. Each of them has a different story to tell, and their stories can be read in their art. The art that makes artistic ceramics an exceptional source of beauty. We hope that when you drink your next coffee from one of our cups, you'll experience not only aroma, but also the feelings that the artists experienced creating this dish. Good feelings.